Pisces, what is happening? Welcome to your energy update. I am back at you guys with a love reading. So let's see what is happening between you and the person that you have in mind, okay? So I'm feeling that this fall season could be very prominent. There could be some communication or at least some um, telepathic communication, right? Because the veils are, are thinner, you can sense things. Um, so let's see, let's get how your person is viewing you. Let's see how they're feeling about you. Let's get their energy towards you. Let's get all that good stuff and see, all right? I'm trying to decide where do I wanna start. Let's start with the animal deck. Animal deck, all right, how is this person that you have in mind, Pisces, how is this person viewing you at this time? Because I feel like it's forever changing. It's like one day maybe this person may feel like, you know, you're good for them and the other moment they may feel like they need to stay away. So it's up and down, but there's definitely some sort of tug and pull, some attraction, some soul connection here. All right, let's see. How's this person viewing you? Okay, cheetah, peacock, the frog, and starfish. Starfish. So I feel here, Pisces, that this person could be viewing you at this time. It's interesting, a couple things coming up. So they're viewing you as this masculine, this energy force. And I do feel like for a lot of Pisces, um, even though Scorpio is a, um, a water sign, it's still a little bit, it's a fixed sign. But anyhow, it's this masculine energy I feel is coming through for you in this fall season. And this person is viewing you as someone that is easy, adjustable. You're able to simulate situations. You stand out in a crowd. Um, just your energy stands out, right? You, you definitely, your presence speaks in a room. And it's because of your actions. You may not say much, but the way you move, the way you maneuver just really grabs attention here. And, and one of the things that really um, this person sees you do often probably, or your ability to cleanse yourself of things and energies that are not of you, for you, right? This is the peacock. The, the peacock's beauty, it really, you might think it comes from without, but it comes within because it's able to simulate everything, okay? Any life experiences. So you're the, the way you're able to cleanse and move forward and keep going, is 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 very interesting to this person but this person sees that there is absolutely so much more behind what you're showing maybe for some people you might show a very superficial energy and pisces tends to do that sometimes pisces come off as flighty because there's so much depth that sometimes you just don't go there okay so the, you know this person sees that maybe you're showing that you rely on your beauty um but this person again let's get some more let's get some more let's get some more all right how's this person viewing pisces all right, yeah, the whale and tiger. So this person sees that you are just a well of depth, okay? You have so much knowledge, so much wisdom, and I feel here that this person knows that you embody the feminine energy, and it's interesting because they see that you're able to do both, okay? You're able to, 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 to get into action, use the solar force, but you're able also to um, sit in the dark, understand it, that feminine energy, the tiger hunts at night, okay? It's not afraid of anything uses it to its advantage so this person sees that you've just been through so much you've done so much you're an old soul and you your ability to refresh your ability to come anew to to move on from things to to get going you know for some people something might happen to them or they might take a long weekend and it takes them like two weeks to recuperate you're just like on it right and that really stands out this person all right i'm gonna put these back in how is this person feeling towards you animal deck how is this person feeling towards you at this moment how is this person feeling towards you at this moment how is this person feeling towards you at this moment pisces pisces how is this person feeling towards you at this moment oh wow we have two eggs the golden egg and this and it did pop out like this and the black egg and the dragonfly, so this person, you know, the dragonfly is very ethereal. It's almost like this ancient, again, very intellectual wisdom, energy, um, very mentally agile, all right? So this person, it's it's like something in you um, really strikes up or strikes a chord in them somehow, right? Something, your presence resonates with them internally you know when you someone does something and you look feel it or you can feel 
like your soul tribe, you know, they just, they feel you in a different sense. And I want to see here the black egg again, what this may say, I forget the black egg speaking from an authentic voice and truth. Okay, so the black egg is, again, speaking your inner truth. All right, so this person really resonates with you here and definitely there's something stirring up in this person but maybe they might not be expressing it all right they might not be expressing um their truth towards you master of light illusion in the mind sees clearly joyful magical so this person i feel here feels the magic they see the magic in you they feel this magical experience it's resonating with them even if you think they don't or they might not be showing it it definitely strikes a chord in them, but they're not they're not speaking up. Okay? Let's see here. Let's see here. What is the mutual energy in this connection? What is the mutual energy before we move decks? What is the mutual energy in this connection with you and this person? Mutual energy. Gazelle, the Phoenix, the Owl and the scorpion okay very interesting so both of you are definitely could be a little obsessive not obsessive but there's that thing lingering there right it's lingering there you haven't been able to let it go it's like this this almost this fire there could be some sexual tension between you and this person okay both of you are i feel visionaries both of you are empaths both of you are able to see what's happening in this connection even though you both might just be sitting there very graceful and from the outside it doesn't seem like you're putting much thought into it but this gazelle is hyper alert baby okay you know every move everything that's going on around you and so both of you i feel are you know just in this state but really sensing out and you're sensing out this transformation and i feel like both of you are even manifesting each other into each other's life because of this constant thinking maybe about this person okay there is this this energy here of this like root chakra of this sacral chakra even right a lot of red yellow orange in these cards a lot of sexual energy too but this is almost that fire that feeds something so that could be helpful but anyhow both of you here are transforming in ways this connection is transforming you both are seeing it i feel like that's kind of deepening a little bit both of you maybe are seeing further into the future of what it could be okay all right let's see here what is your advice pisces first and foremost what is your advice in this connection i'm gonna get with these what is your advice in this connection right now what is your advice in this connection right now what is your advice in this connection right now accept love and imagine and envision Imagine and envision a lot of you. And so this is interesting because for the reading that I did, a general reading for Pisces, one of the cards that popped out is you are good enough. And it's right here, Virgo. Okay. And it's being able to love yourself enough to forgive yourself, forgive your flaws, you know, and not be so hard on yourself and opening yourself up to, you know, something that might be scary for you, but opening your heart up and being able to envision and see those things. I mean, again, I feel like it's, you're manifesting at this time, especially especially during the eclipse season, a lot of potential love energy here. So this is why I feel like this is prominent at this time, but your advice is to really open yourself up. I feel like someone wants to come towards you. They just maybe haven't found the way, but you also have to do your part and keep yourself open. Sometimes we wanna close ourselves off and we get nervous so we look mean or stoic okay all that creates blockages just be your authentic self all right what's next in this connection what's happening next here there's i mean i could get with so many decks here again but what's happening next in this connection what's happening next we're gonna get with this deck and we're gonna move forward what's happening next tears of joy and sadness i wanted to pull out and affirmations for acceptance all right, so this is very interesting. I feel like there's going to be some change coming about. And for the last, I would say, like two weeks ago, I started seeing a lot of fives. Five is change. Change in order for you to, and this is interesting now. If you haven't saw the reading that I just posted, the general that I posted yesterday about Pisces maybe avoiding some sort of change here. 
um, because you don't want to rock the boat in some way. But I don't know, that might be dismantling some relationships to start other ones. Whatever that may mean for you, there's going to be some change, okay? And you have to really do the work to accept this. It could be sad. It's bittersweet to make change, right? You leave something behind, you, you know, a part of your old self. It's 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 sad, but you're moving to something new, okay? Um, so I feel that maybe you could be grieving either something physical, like a relationship you're leaving behind, or an old piece of yourself and accepting that you are good enough, right? So there's going to be some change here. I'm, I'm very interested to see what it's going to be in your life in regards to relationships. What change is coming towards Pisces in relationships? What change is coming towards Pisces um, in relationships up and coming here? Bottom of the deck, Neptune, Venus. What's coming up for Pisces and love in relationships? Challenge and outlook, ascendant. This is very fascinating, okay? I'm not going to go too deep into this, but the cards that we just got, okay, for, what, for the, the thing that could be coming up here, acceptance, okay, acceptance, is changing your your outlook your ascendant right your perspective changing your perspective and there could be a challenge because it's like you have to leave something behind to move forward and it's makes you sad and happy at the same time so this is fascinating you're gonna have to change your outlook on something that is transforming how you view it it's gonna be different for everyone all right back to this person that you're thinking about all right, how's this person viewing you? I want to see with these cards. How's this person viewing you? How's your person viewing you? How is your person viewing you, Pisces? How's this person that you're thinking about? How are they viewing you? How are they viewing you? Mercury in fourth house. So this person thinks that you, okay, are smart, okay, that you've done a lot of learning, that you are very perceptive when it comes to um, maybe things of the fourth house, your roots, your stability, um, your comfort, self-care, um, really creating habits for yourself. So this person sees that you've been able, like you've been smart and have been able to mold yourself and mold your life um, to be more beneficial and, and enjoyable for you. <laughs> how does this person view you? So this person views you maybe that you're... Um, how does this person view you? You have a lot of stability, maybe success. This is how they're viewing you. Perception and intimacy. Ooh, again, this perception card. Intimacy. So this person views you um, that maybe... So they, they view you as someone that is very mysterious to start off with, right? You give the perception that you're mysterious, yet you're all over the place in a sense, in a good way, right? You, um, the perception card, social media, excursions, research, street life, circulation. Um, you are a very discreet person. Maybe you don't like to put too much out there, but also you are very adventurous in some, in some senses. Okay. Again, and again, you just like ooze sex appeal. Okay. You ooze sex appeal here. Kundalini. You also that you may be a very reserved person. Mm, I don't know. Reserved person, but there's a lot of things going on. You've been able to really work on yourself. And like that really mystifies this person. I mean, they, they're, they are um, intrigued by that. All right. How is this person feeling towards you? How is this person feeling towards you with, the, with this deck? All right. I just saw surrender and action. So this person may want to surrender and just like give in to their desires, okay, and want to come towards you and take some action here. How's this person feeling towards Pisces? How's this person feeling towards Pisces? How's this person feeling towards Pisces? Opportunity and balance. Okay, I feel here like they this person um, is feeling now... Like they're about to step up into this opportunity to be able to balance maybe communication with you, to balance connection, speak up or something here. Um, also, maybe confront, maybe, you know, again, come face to face in some sense. What else? How's this person feeling towards Pisces? Challenge and the numinous. Yeah. I feel here like this person 
wants to balance something here out with you. It's like both of you are mirroring each other in a sense. And this person wants to maybe address some things with you. But they're having a challenging time doing that. Okay? But there could be a lot of um, telepathic communication at this time. Okay? A lot of changing. Um, not changing, but a lot of... You know thinning of the veil so depending on who this person is for you right they can also be experiencing a lot of things here during this time when the veils are thin sometimes we experience things that are not even ours but we don't know how to truly cleanse ourselves, especially when you're a water sign or an empath anyhow this person is having some challenges here and coming towards you and taking this opportunity and collaborating with you they want to okay they definitely want to um communicate but they can't they're nervous or something. All right. How is this person, last deck here, and then we're going to wrap this up. How is this person feeling towards Pisces at this moment? How are they feeling towards Pisces? How are they feeling? How's this person feeling towards Pisces at this moment? Okay. Interesting. Lullaby. Blutter, uh, butterfly, butterfly garden, new directions, and a long way from home. Okay, let's unravel this because I feel like this person is almost like in this dream state right now. I feel like this person is really contemplating a lot. They're observing you. They're just like in this contemplative energy, right? And it's like almost your energy almost puts them to sleep. It's like a lullaby. Water doesn't break through rocks with force it's because of its persistence and it's just flowy so anyhow they're in the state and really um oh this other card popped out okay they're really addressing i was gonna say in the state of really just enjoying watching you and they're almost in this trance state just enjoying that essence and envisioning new directions in their life whether that may be with you in this connection okay and and, and they know it's different they know that it's going to be a different place far away from what they've known before but they're envisioning new things for themselves their perspective is also opening up and it's interesting because i feel like that's where you guys are mirroring each other earlier the perspective card um popped out here an intimacy or something here but anyhow so this person is really it's starting to seep almost into their subconscious in a sense and they're starting to kind of like make sense of this and they're looking into a new direction here um possibly involving you into new endeavors okay how is this person viewing you how's this person viewing you at this time pisces under my umbrella pure nature and the perfect key <laughs> So this, this is so cute because this person just views you as someone so pure, genuine, authentic. You are just have blossomed before their eyes somehow, okay? And you're just like this radiant, fresh energy, all right? I mean, just you're aware of your beauty in a sense and you're just like this, this graceful, just you've blossomed, okay? And this person sees you as someone that's a friend. They feel here that maybe if they can get on your back and, 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 you know, you guys can give each other mutual support. They can support you and you can bring a little color to their life, okay? You can bring a little magic to their life and they see you as this perfect key that's really going to unlock some things for them. That's really going to, like, you're just the right porridge, right? Like, they feel that like you would mesh well in their life with them. Like, you're like the missing link here. So it's very, it's very cute. It's very cute how this person is feeling towards you. All right, I just want to get one last advice with this deck and we're going to wrap this up. What is the advice for you and this person, Pisces? What is the advice for you and this person? Advice with you uh, and this person, dealing with this person. What is Pisces' advice in this situation with this person? Pisces, your advice in this situation. Change direction with, with ease. And I'm, I'm just going to say, I'm going to go back to this. Um, affirmations for acceptance and tears of joy and sadness sometimes to be able to go to something that you really want you have to leave some things behind i don't know what that's going to be for you but spirit is asking you to change direction with ease okay this is a time for change shape shifting of your soul's evolution it's a time to reconsider what you are wanting you may be in for a surprise oh lord setting up parameters and rediscover your zeal okay 
So I also think it's important here to focus on you, to make sure the more that you blossom, the more that you focus on yourself and become that light, the more that this person or any person that is meant for you will spot that light. Again, rediscover who you are, set up these parameters with certain people. Maybe some parameters may be needed um, to leave certain things behind so you can really get in touch with your true essence. Maybe you've been sitting in the uh, uh, comfortable for a while and not wanting to rock the boat in some aspect, but you know that this change or what may seem hard is actually best for getting in touch with your true self, for evolving your soul. All right. So Pisces, I hope that was somewhat helpful for you. All right. Let me know how that goes for you down below. Oh, look at my new painting. You guys like it? It's holding a pumpkin. My boyfriend says it's a basketball, but not it's a pumpkin. All right. See you guys. Bye.